over here with a Teradec right here at IPC. And who are you? Hi, my name is uh, John Landman and I'm from Teradec. And uh, so what are you showing here? This okay, bag. yeah, so this is our third generation of our bonding solution. Um, this is an H265 bonding solution. Um, let me show you here. Let me reveal to you how we've done this. So, what do I have here? A couple of things we did in the third generation. First thing, we designed our own modems. <laughs> you made a modem. We made our own modems. This means that we can make them far more high performance than a traditional USB modem. That's what people would do before, just buy some cheap stuff from the, oh, the, the stuff they give away, basically, with the SIM card. True, so two things that we've done to improve connectivity. One, as my American friend said to me, John, you got some big ass antennas on that thing. Those big ass antennas give me much better noise to uh, signal to noise ratio, so I'm going to get far higher bit rates using this technology. Also, we rode our own drivers, so it's a far more efficient connection. That's awesome. You sold a lot of stuff just by doing more. Just by yeah, just by designing our own bag. It's not a piece of cake to do it's a big deal. Yeah, well, that's How where. Long did it take? Like, this is new. This is new. Yes, this is the first time we've shown this here at IBC. Um, one other thing we did to improve the situation of being able to stream high quality video over cell connections is to include an H265 encoder. That's awesome. H265 is that the best codec? That is the latest codec. It's better than. Uh, DP9 or AV1 is doing. Uh, I mean, it's. I well, mean, let's, it's, let's it's, just put it this way: this is shipping. This is half right? the bit rate of H264, right? Yes. At the same quality. That is correct. And this is shipping. And so you're encoding to H265. You can save. What what kind of bit rates would people usually do with your system? Well, t typically, uh, at least in the states, we've been doing 720 at three and a half megs per second. So based on the assumption that H.265 will give me the same bitrate or the same quality for half the bitrate, I could probably do 720 at around 2 megabits per second now. 2 megabits is nothing, right? It is. It's, it it's should a, be easy to get. It's an amazing technology, But you yes. want to get, you want to be able to get uh, a stable connection, so you, you don't want to be streaming 4K, but you could? How much can you stream? How much can you encode in this? Well, we, we, What's the maximum resolution? Yeah, our maximum resolution is 1080p60. And that's 4K be, will probably be coming sometime next year. So you have 1080p60 on, on, on that one? Yes. And uh, what is this here? Okay, so... so we, pow we power our bonded system. We power with an AB mount battery. Or a V mount battery. Any battery, right? Now, let me show you something. This is a big battery. This battery will run the bond for about six hours. It runs everything. It runs everything. The encoder, the modems. And uh, there's many modems. There's some over here. Are they connected, these two? Yes. Four modems are connected. We can actually bond together a total of ten devices. I can put five modems. One Ethernet is six. And Wi-Fi. We have an app that you can download on an iPhone called TerraLink. And the bond will bond together four phones as well. So four phones, one Ethernet, and five USB modems or modems. Yes. The phone has Wi-Fi, right? Well, over Wi-Fi. Your, your iPhone, Wi-Fi is to here. And another one does the same now. Yep. And the, the bond knows to aggregate the bandwidth of the four phones. So you can aggregate four Wi-Fi. Yes. Four phones. Four phones. Yes. But it could also have wi fi or? Uh, yeah, we could join the Wi-Fi of the building. And, you, and also four of them. Well, no, because I've got a Wi-Fi to it, right? It's the access point. I can't Wi-Fi to four different routers because I can only join one router if I'm doing it in infrastructure mode. To the internet, they're not giving internet to that system. The four phones will Wi-Fi to this that will act as a hotspot. They 
well. Because once we have Wi Fi to the cube, <laughs> the cube then has the intelligence to know that it's got four phones connected and will also use their bandwidth to connect to the internet. Yes, it's called Terralink. So it's just it's just a two-way bandwidth, and your app on the phone is smart enough to switch its mode. Uh, correct. Become a, become a source for data. Yes. Now, one other thing <coughs> is that our boot-up time is now 20 seconds. In fact, if you're going to record this, you'll see, and if someone wants to time it, they'll actually see that it's under. 20 seconds. Yeah. Are we in? We're in. Done. Boom. Are you running Linux? Yes. As what kind of Linux are you doing here? Is it <laughs> I don't know. Completely customized solution, embedded. Yes. Everything OS. Everything. Very efficient. Very efficient. And uh, and optimized for exactly what you're doing right here. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, this is a very small encoder. The Nice. Totally yeah. awesome. And uh, let me just show you. Yeah. So one other thing we've added to the bag is the ability to remove the battery. It's, it, it's, it seems you could have a much bigger battery in here. There's so much space. Yeah. But you don't want to do that to interfere with the modems or not? No. Potentially. Potentially. There's all this space around here. Yeah. But look, I've unplugged the battery and yet the system still works. Because we've included like a four minute battery inside the bond awesome. so that you have time to change the battery. Backup power. Backup power. Right. Where's the, where's the backup power? In this box? In the bond, yeah. underneath. The other one there? Yes. So we can we see there from here a little bit also to see, uh, because there's two boxes, right? This one is the bond up here, and the other one is the encoder down here. No, is it the opposite? Encoding down here. Just so I can hear it sing. Yeah. When we mount it on top of a camera, we put the encoder on the bottom and the bonded unit on top. Right. But why are the antennas coming out <coughs> of the encoder? Because we can again Wi-Fi to it to do the Terranet. Remember, bonding the phones. But I thought the encoder was a separate box. This is the bonding. And the, yeah. Okay. But it's all, it's all one system. All right. And what are all these these uh, things here? So, Connectors. yeah, so we have IFB, if you're a TV station, you want to use an IFB so that you can talk back to the cameraman. IFB, so... Uh, return, return audio. You're talking to the cameraman only? Yes, through a different channel. It's a totally different channel, giving him instructions, go and film this, <laughs> this that, that. Exactly. Okay. Um, we also accept analog audio. So if you have an analog feed, we accept analog. Uh, this is our power button. Ethernet, so that we can connect over an Ethernet network. HDMI and SDI, all SDI in the same unit. In full HD. Full HD, 1080p60. There's only full HD system here, right? Correct. Yeah. 1080p60. So when you're doing uh, 2 megabit for 720, that means you can do 1080. 60 for like something like 8 megabits. That is correct. Which is pretty awesome, right? Very, very good. Very impressive. How many SIM cards? Where do you put the SIM cards? Do you put them directly in your modems? The custom modems have a SIM card slot? Yeah, the, the custom modems have a SIM, a SIM card slot in here. What are those uh, carriers? Are they happy about your kind of solutions? Because you're using, your customers are using so much bandwidth. They're maxing out their cap. That's why why would the carriers not be happy? They charge for overages. So they charge for overage, but sometimes they say, ah, oh, you get unlimited data, they just go and buy them in the, in the kiosk, you know, you can buy a SIM card, right. and then you can just abuse it so much with your system. You can use like 50 gigabytes per day or something. Uh, remember we're doing compressed. Yeah. Um, I'll, give you an ex I'll give you some examples. I, I streamed an hour. I, sh I streamed an event at 2 megabits per second for 10 hours and used up 1 gig of data. That's pretty awesome. So divide that amongst the four modems I was using, 
And that's only 250 megabits per second, uh, 250 megabytes. If I would hold my phone up and try to do a live stream here, usually it wouldn't work. There's too much interference. But you, you is the solution. You have you're bonding so many. How many? You're bonding four, right? So you 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 minimize the probability that you're going to get issues. Correct. The reason that we bond is for two things. One is redundancy, so that if one network doesn't perform as well as the other network, we can load balance. Plus. We bond for aggregated bandwidth. So if each modem gives me a meg, if I aggregate that with the bond, we get two megs. Is there any way that your software is smart enough to, to go in some emergency kind of mode where it sees, oh, there's only 256 kilobits right now for some reason, right. and then automatically downgrade the quality to a super low one, but you, you're still connected because it's important that the, the newscaster doesn't get disconnected. Right. Well, uh, we do have inbuilt uh, intelli intelligence into the way that we manage the streaming. Uh, we use adaptive bitrate encoding, and the program that we use in the cloud that stitches the feeds back together is in real time monitoring the bandwidth that it's getting from the modems. If you can jump over there, it's, uh, sorry, I keep making a. Uh, because is this your cloud solution? This, this is our cloud solution. Uh, does this come included with the whole thing? Or no. You have to pay for this. It, this is a hundred dollars a month, and it offers you uh, unlimited destinations, recordings in the cloud, routings, remote management, just to start with. Just to start. With. Yes. So this is a complete cloud kind of solution. You connect this to, can you connect to YouTube and Facebook and all that? Yeah, we can go to an unlimited number of destinations. Hang on, let me get... Uh, let me set it up for you. So it's actually connecting to a real system right now? Yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it's a real system, but the connection to the internet from this show is very poor. So actually you're going through the... Cloud. Somehow. We're going to the cloud. You're going through an Ethernet somewhere. Yeah. Inventory. Channel. Add a channel. Very clean. And so is this something you've been doing? Oh, there's destinations. These are the Twitch, live stream. Yes. That's the, the usual systems? Yes. Uh, I, I'm wondering if uh, Google and Amazon Web Services, do they offer all kinds of solutions here at IBC where they have all these backhand kind of, where you would want to send that to that, that maybe CNN or somebody would be using that? Some other kind of a, a destination? Or th those are the typical well, ones. We, we, yeah, no, we, we can go to any RTMP destination. Any RTMP, that's the one. Yeah, that's what you're referring to. Right. Yes. So, can I use and this? What are the, you can choose transcoders, decoders. We make decodes. So, if, if I wanted to route, take a source and then take a decoder, I just drag and drop. Nice. This is a pretty nice UI. Yeah, and if I want to take my CDN destination, again, I just drag and drop. I just drag and drop. Drag and drop. Nice, and they're all logged in, they're all ready? All ready to go. Unlimited number of destinations. And you just click go live and it's live. And it's live, yes. It's super simple. Yes, thank you. Uh, but it's $100 per month. You don't have some uh, small packages for trials or something? Yes, we have a 30-day uh, guarantee or 30-day trial period. Yeah, just sign up to core. Uh, sign up at core.teradec.com. How much is a bag? Because uh, I'm wondering. Because uh, are you one of the leaders in this industry, right? There's a there's a live view, mm -hmm. and there's you. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's one or two other guys or something. But uh, are you targeting live bloggers kind of people, or is more for TV? Is it for CNN, or well, BBC, or is it for all the small guys too? Let's put it this way. We've priced it at such a point that small bloggers can use it. I, I have uh, hundreds of small bloggers that use our gear on a regular basis. Um, and I also have broadcasters that use our gear. I mean, it, it's, it's very much priced somewhere that everyone can use it. 
Um, you can look at those uh, right here. Yeah, well, the bond with 265 and the bag and four modems is around 7,000 US dollars. 7,000 Yes. And the backpack, that's a bag. And the backpack, yes. Full bag. 7,000. Correct. That means you can go anywhere you want, anywhere, in any country, basically, and you have a life better off. Yeah, as long as you get the sims that work in that country, that is true. There's something cool going on in Europe where now it's law that you, are shoot, you have to be allowed to be grown. The sim cars all over Europe. There's stuff happening, there's more and more sim cars, which just works in normal countries. Which is going to make our lives a lot easier, right? You know, you step off the plane, you're ready to go. Yeah, and maybe there's a, do you have a service where people can just order five sim cards? And... No, not yet. But it's a good idea. For all to figure out what are the best, because you want to have two of this carrier, two of the other, so mix them up. Yeah, we don't offer those services, but I'm sure someone will soon. Right, and uh, uh, is there any gigabit LTE? Like, um, what's, your, what's your modem? Is it an LTE, just basic? It's an LTE basic. modem, yes. So there could be gigabit LTE coming, and there could be some right now. Eventually. Eventually. And, but if, I, if you don't want to buy the whole kit and the whole bag, and just buy the bond, how much is that? So the encoder is 3K, yeah. the bonding unit is 2K, and the modems are about 500 a piece. 